go. It's a week three matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Washington Commanders. 2-0 Commanders in their home opener taking on the Bills coming into this game off a 38-10 victory over the Las Vegas Raiders. This is a homecoming game from for Stephon Diggs looking for big things from number 14. And let's see this Bills offense replicate what they did last week against Washington. Nothing too crazy. Some little dinking and dunking. Whatever works. Let's just get the win here. 36-yard attempt for Tyler Bass. It's good. That one looked like it was sailing off to the left a bit. Pretty windy in Washington right now. But 3 nothing Bills with 9.29 to go in the first quarter. Sam Howell intercepted by Bernard. That's huge. Bernard. Back-to-back -back games with an interception. And, I mean, early Defensive Player of the Week candidate. Had a sack on the last play. Follows it up with an interception. Let's go. 43. Terrell Bernard. Big play for the Bills. Now from the 35-yard line, Allen fakes the handoff to Diggs. Allen takes a shot for the end zone. Gabe Davis. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills. Going up 10-0 early. Pending the point after attempt. From Tyler Bass. Great start for this Bills offense. And defensively coming through. This team's firing on all cylinders. Trying to crash the homecoming party for the Commanders. Picture perfect pass to Gabriel Davis. Touchdown Buffalo. Tyler Bass just drilled a 54-yard field goal at the 2-minute warning to make it 13-0 Buffalo. Solid first half. Let's close it out. Keep that goose egg on the board. So a third and two coming up with a minute and 20 seconds left in the second quarter. Sam Howell under pressure. That's intercepted by Micah Hyde. And the Bills already in field goal range here. Let's go. Bills. Huge. This defense is coming up huge. Looks like the old Buffalo Bills defense that we've become so accustomed to seeing. Let's see the offense put up some more points here and capitalize. With 22 seconds left in the first half, Tyler Bass comes on for the field goal attempt. And his kick is good. 16-0 Bills lead with 19 seconds to go in the second quarter. Had to take the jersey off there for a moment here at halftime. And the reason, i try this out right here. Josh Allen's barbecue sauce. Give it a quick little review for you. I can't wait to try this. These ribs, oh, they look great. Full rack of ribs right here. Steaming out, steaming hot right here. Let's give this a try. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Josh Allen can do no wrong. Love this. Just like I'm loving what I'm seeing on the scoreboard right now. 16 nothing Bills at half. Dominant performance thus far. Got my jersey back on here. Commanders in the red zone. Running the football effectively here on their opening drive of the second half. Howell airing it out. Intercepted by Tredavious White. Trey White is back. Big interception from number 27. Love to see it. It's been a while since we've seen him come up with an interception. And wow, Commanders, they look awful. Commanders look atrocious. Bills looking great. Love to see this. Josh Allen under pressure. Allen, he's going to run for the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Josh Allen. Touchdown. First time this season, Allen finds the end zone with his legs. 22 0. Buffalo Bills. And as we look over to some preseason action in the NHL, the Washington Capitals are currently outscoring the Washington Commanders. That's, that's embarrassing. How on the run, AJ Epinesa with an interception. Another one. That's the fourth pick of the game. And it's a pick six. For the defensive end, A.J. Epinesa, 30-0 Bills lead. So much for the Sam Howell hype train. This Bills team has been dominant on defense 
and the offense, they played a part too. But this defense, this, this is a, an amazing performance that we're witnessing right now. It's now third and goal for the Bills. Kyle Allen hands off to Latavius Murray, and it's 37 nothing. Wow. It, I can't help but laugh. It's not really that funny, but 37 nothing. What a beatdown. A lot of people were asking questions, saying, are the commanders legit? I think this game just answered the question. Move that 2-0 down to 2-1. Bills advance to 2-1. And, and looking on to bigger things here, because this game's already over. It's still on, but it's over. Bills, Dolphins, next week. That is going to be a huge showdown. The Dolphins put up 55 points against the Denver Broncos. And the Bills... With 37 nothing shutout, the two superior teams in the AFC East collide next week, week four, Highmark Stadium. I'll be at that game. Make sure you stay tuned uh, for that week's reaction video. It's going to be a great one. Going to do lots of content, interviews, and stuff. But for this game, just awesome. Awesome all around for the Bills. It's hard to complain about anything. The defensive side of the football came up with four interceptions, a plethora of sacks. I, I haven't counted it up. I don't know exactly how many, but they had at least five sacks in this game. Sam Howell under constant duress all game long. And just a huge victory for the Bills here. Crashing the Washington Commanders' homecoming game. Their home opener. Bills Mafia. Lots of Bills fans in the stands there at FedEx Field, and they are loving it. I'm sure all the Commanders fans are out of this stadium by now. What a game all around. Josh Allen got his first touch, rushing touchdown of the season. Gabriel Davis opened the scoring early with that touchdown. Um, great game. Really hard to nitpick anything. There's some things that you could nitpick, but I'm not going to get too nitpicky about this game. It's hard to complain when the score is 37 nothing. What a game. What a performance from the Buffalo Bills. We'll see if anything else happens here. But I'm expecting this clock to just drain at this point. Awesome, awesome game from the Bills. Some wild stuff has transpired here since I stopped recording. Uh, first off, the Bills had their shutout spoiled by the Washington Commanders. Unfortunately, Sly hit the 51-yard field goal attempt. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Bill's dominant victory. Either way. And over in Miami, the Dolphins have put up 70 points on the Denver Broncos. I don't recall the last time any NFL team put up 70 points. So, yeah, next week's game is going to be intense. It's going to be quite the showdown between the two top teams in the AFC East. Can't wait. See you then. Make sure you stay tuned for the preview video and stuff coming your way next week from Highmark Stadium. Thank you for watching.